Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to complete our view uh, class. So let's go ahead and create the view class and it's going to go in the core folder here. Create a new file and just call that view with an uppercase V. Remember all of our classes need to begin with an uppercase. Uh, I'm going to close it and then what we're going to do is give it class view. All right, and right off the bat, let's just go ahead and create several protected uh, uh, properties here. So let's see, we do head, body, uh, site, title, output, buffer, and layout. Now our layout, we're going to give it a default, and we're going to call. We're going to use a constant that we haven't yet defined. So it's going to be default layout. All right. So uh, let's go ahead now, and in our uh, config file, we need to define the a couple things. Uh, it's going to be the default uh, layout. Um, and we're going to use that later, but for now we'll go ahead and set that up just so we don't have any errors. Um, so let's go ahead and open the config.php file. And underneath this, I'm going to define default layout. Okay, and then let's go ahead and put a comment here so we don't forget what this is for. So if no layout, is set in the controller use this layout okay great um the other thing we'll do while we're here is go ahead and define um let's define a site title um, i'm going to call mine rua mbc Framework. Okay. Um, this will be used if no site title is set. Okay. And then let's see. What else could we set here? Um, We'll set one more. Um, so this one, what we're going to do is on our root, we're going to set our root uh, folder. And on because we're using exam, uh, it's not really this. You got to imagine this whole first part would be the domain. Um, and on most servers, on live servers, this would just be forward slash. Um, but we have to do the forward slash root uh, forward slash. Now there's or whatever your project name is. So I'm going to set that here. Um, you would most likely on a live server set it to this, um, but for our purposes, um, I'm going to go ahead and set this to Rua uh, forward slash. And the reason I'm doing that is so that later when we're using a client side files and we're doing um, redirects and things like that, um, it will automatically, we'll use this uh, S root and it will uh, go ahead and put this in there. And then later if I move this to a live server, I can simply uh, to right, live server. That way, in the framework, I can define the root uh, directory, basically, um, or the root path of the project. So that's what we're going to do. Um, instead of uh, probably instead of s root, we're just going to say p root. Um, which looks a little funny, but I don't know, project root. I don't want to type a lot of, every time we use that, so we'll just make it something like that. So I know we're not really using it yet, so it doesn't much make, make sense yet, so let's just move on. All right, so back in the view.php file, um, we're going to go ahead and use, we're using that default layout that we just defined in the config. So we got this default layout here, so it's just default. Um, that is the layout we're going to use. Um, and then Let's go ahead and we're not really going to do anything with this yet. Set up our construct. And then our main method that we're going to create here, which actually is not much, 
not much of a meth, uh, main method. I mean, there's a few methods here, and you'll see how to use these. We're going to get very used to using these as we build this. But um, the first one that we're going to set up is render. So this will be our render method. And it's going to accept a view name. Um, and so let's go ahead and get going on this. Uh, we want to separate this view name out into an array. So let's see, view array uh, will equal and we'll use PHP's pre-built function explode and we'll explode it by the uh, the uh, forward slash there and then pass in view name so now we'll have a uh, we'll have our array and then what I want to do is make sure that we're using the um, the directory separator of whatever uh, system we're on. So that's why we're turning this back into a string now. So we're going to implode this array and we're going to implode it by um, our separator and then we're imploding the view array. So this isn't 100% necessary but uh, later when we do when we render we use this function we're just going to have a forward slash in that view name but if we were on Windows or something and this was a backslash instead um, that would break things so that's why we're going ahead and switching this out for whatever uh, this is defined in our config file or, or I'm sorry in our index page so that that is the only reason we, for these two uh, lines of code right there all right, so then we're just going to do a, a check here, and we're going to use if we've already done this earlier in the project. We're going to use if file exists, and we're looking for root uh, app. And we're looking in the views folder, and then we're looking for view string. Okay, uh, and then we're going to concatenate onto that .php. So if that exists, we're going to first include. Um, we'll go ahead and copy all of this here. Okay, so we'll include that, and then um, we haven't set this up yet, but we're going to. This will also. We're going to include. Our uh, layouts um, after this. So again, it's just going to be root dot ds dot um, app, and then we're going to create um, a folder or a directory or folder, however you want to call it, in our uh, views. We're going to call that layouts. Okay, and that's where we're going to do our main templates and things like that. Um, so if this doesn't make sense yet, uh, it's okay. So this layout, and then we're going to concatenate on .php. So if the file exists, so if our view, our render view file, if it exists in our views, uh, so it's going to be inside of our app views. If that file exists here, we'll include it and we're going to include the layout. Else, um, what we're going to do is go ahead and kill the application and we'll give it a message like the view, whoops, the view, and then we'll concatenate, whoops, we will concatenate on um, view name um, does not exist okay so if we try to grab a view that doesn't exist uh, it'll kill the application so that's it that's our render function it's just basically including our files for us um, okay so the the next um, method that we're going to need here is a uh, we want to create a content okay 
And um, in our content, let's go ahead and do a, an if statement here. And we're gonna pass in type. So this, this method will make sense and maybe I'll come back and explain it later, but basically we're going to have inside of our views that we create content. Um, and so it'll have a type of either head or body. Um, and you could, you could create uh, additional types if you'd like, um, but for now I'm gonna go ahead and do this. So if, uh, you could use a switch statement here too, but if type equals head, then I'm gonna return this head. So this is basically gonna be a getter and a setter. Um, so then we say else if type is body, okay, we'll return this. And this is basically getters, I mean, um, we, it's, it's hard to kind of show you how this works because we haven't gotten far enough in the project to actually start using this. So, um, and then if it's not either one of those, header body, if we accidentally pass a type that's not that, uh, we'll just go ahead and return false by default. Okay, that's it. That's all, uh, that's our content method. Um, so let's go ahead now and um, what the way we're going to use this is inside of our view, and let's just, you know, just to give some context to what we're doing, let's go ahead and create a few files here. Um, so we have our view file here, and I, inside of views, I'm gonna create a new folder. And inside this folder, I'm gonna go ahead and put a home folder here. And inside that home folder, I'm going to put a new file I'm going to call that index.php. Okay. Um, and then what I want to do is inside my controllers, I'm going to create a new, uh, a new, um, excuse me, a new file. And I want to call that um, home.php. And we're going to do a capital H because this is a class. Now, let's open our PHP tags here. We're not gonna close them. And then define our class, so class home. And this will extend uh, our controller, okay? And then, so this is our home controller. And the way this is gonna work is we're gonna add a controller for each uh, control that we need in our application, and those will have a corresponding uh, folder inside the views. So home can ha will have many views uh, inside of that. So just to give a little bit of context here, um, what we wanna do is we have our home controller and our index view, and then we have our view here. And Inside, the way I want it to work is inside of our index view, let's just go ahead and uh, map this out. I want to do something like this, where we say this start head, this end, and then we can do this start body end okay and so in just one more thing up here at the top we'll do something like this this set site title home I want to have these methods available uh, inside of the views. And then anything that I put here, uh, I could put script tags uh, for JavaScript or anything else like that. Um, I could put style tags here, uh, things like that. That will get inserted uh, into the uh, head of the HTML document. 
Um, and then anything that gets put between the start and end of the body um, will uh, get, let's just put, uh, welcome to Rua MBC framework. Okay, so anything that gets put here will get inserted into the body of the HTML. So our view files then are just gonna have the markup that they need for the body and if there's anything needed for the head up here. Um, and if you don't need anything in the head, you obviously don't have to do this. And if you don't want to set the site title, you don't need this. So essentially we just need this. Um, so basically let's build all of these methods. We need a set title um, and we need a start and a, and a home. I mean, I'm sorry, a start and an end method.